Hello, welcome back to another edition of Junkyard Hack. Uh, what we have here is an alternator for an 05 Crown Vic that I'm doing. Um, the old alternator was charging rather weakly. Uh, it was at the very bottom or just in red of the charge uh, charging meter that I have. So, I mean, it was still charging, but it was kind of weak. So I had this one on the shelf. I don't know why it's on the shelf, but I'm going to find out if it's any good by putting it on here. Now, I just wanted to do this video because I want to show you. This is the easiest alternator change I have ever done in any car. Old, new, young, old, whatever. Uh, foreign, domestic, whatever. Okay. And all you have to do to do this alternator change is, of course, disconnect your battery. I did the negative terminal. It's an 8 millimeter uh, bolt there to loosen that up. Okay, when you get that done, you have four, what is this, 10 or 11? Uh, 10, 10 millimeter. Okay, where the hell is it? Yeah, the, 10, the infamous 10 millimeter socket. The 10 millimeter bolts on top, four of them, that hold that bracket down and hold the top part of it in. Now there's two, you see them down there, you see one of them. That's another 10 millimeter bolt. Now you don't have to take the bolt out all the way because there's a slot you can slide the um, alternator up and out. And that's the great thing that Ford did. You don't have to, you just have to loosen it up enough to slide it up and out. So you just take that off and you slide it up. Before you do that though, you have to loosen the um, uh, serpentine belt. And all you have to do for that is you get a 3 8 drive, uh, either socket wrench or um, bar, whatever, and you just t tighten that to the left, the driver's side, and it'll take the slack off and you get it off the pulley, and uh, then you take those bolts out. But you take those bolts out, you have the big charger right there, and you have a little wire, let me see if I can get a better shot of it, a little wire connection that pops out. And it's really, let me see if I can get a better connection in down here where the heck is it there it is there it is that pops right out it's one of those ones where you push the tab in on the side and pull it out if it's not corroded it'll come right out but uh, just be careful because it's brittle plastic and it could break on you so um, you might want to spray that down with some PB blaster coil or whatever um, won't hurt it um, now you get those off you get that off and you take this out, you swab it for the new one, pop it right on in reverse, and you can have this job done in about five minutes if you're good. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to clean the um, contacts. So when you see there's some green uh, shit right on there, that's uh, corrosion. I've already sanded it, but I couldn't get in that area, so I'm just gonna throw some uh, baking soda and water combo in there to break that up and then just uh, get an air nozzle or some canned air on it so clean that off but the contact under there the ring is actually sanded down and clean so hopefully uh, once we get that all done it'll be better that might be all that was wrong with the other one because uh, it was working but it was just weak so we'll see if this one's any good if it's good it'll run I'll leave it on there if not I'll put the old one back on but anyway just to let you know this uh, these Crown Vicks is 4.6 Crown Vicks that is one of the easiest things to do. Water pump's pretty easy. Not quite as easy as this, but it's still easy. Uh, for a newer, I don't say new, but newer vehicle, these are pretty easy to work on. Um, anyway, I uh, just wanted to point that out. Just wanted to film that for you guys. And uh, it's hot, and I'm going to take a break and get a little bit of air conditioning before I finish this job. Take care. Have a great one. Bye.